Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. A couple of days ago, I made a video on making this arrow, not this part, just this part. And I was playing around with it before I uh, got rid of it. And I came up with this idea and it's, I've used the uh, intersect tool a lot, but I've never done it like this. Normally you would intersect the part that's like right here in the middle, but we want the arrows on the front of the page. So I didn't do that. I am going to zoom in. I'm going to take my rectangle tool. You just want to make sure you get all of what you want and have white on the outside. Now I've got it selected. I'm going to shift select the middle ribbon and I'm going to go There we go, I didn't shift select it. And I'm gonna intersect it. I'm gonna nudge that out of the way. Now I'm gonna take my rectangle, do the exact same thing, shift select the ribbon and intersect and move it out of the way. Now I can get rid of my rectangle and I can grab my item and go to object order back a page and then look, grab both these and nudge them back and it looks like that ribbon of the arrows is going around the other ribbon. It might have been better. I mean, it worked out perfectly. Even the edges that I created on the first one uh, even lined up. And all I did was take the two arrows and uh, mimic them over. And you can see the joint right there. Uh, let's look at it in wireframe just to make you understand or help you understand. So there's the center of my arrow and I just flipped it over and had it go in um, the opposite way. I mean, I originally just created half the arrow. Anyway, I hope that entertaining a little bit. Thank you for watching.